Hello, everybody. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and I had so much fun reviewing Scoob with my kids that I brought them back. Hey, guys. Hi. Valeria, Sawyer, they're Hi, back with people. me. We're here on YouTube. So excited to review another movie. I thought since there aren't any new movies any coming new out. Aliens? There's aliens. Oh, wow. There, oh, there's aliens in the world. Uh, since there aren't any new movies coming out, I thought, why not revisit some films uh, that I've seen, uh, that I loved as a kid, that the, my kids haven't seen yet. And the first movie we picked... I picked one from the uh, the archives uh, because I've shown them a lot, but we might revisit some. Uh, I wanted to watch Kindergarten Cop, Schwarzenegger. Go ahead. You tell him you didn't do your homework. Uh, so you guys, so we're clear. This was your first Arnold Schwarzenegger yep. movie, yes? Yep. Yes. All right. And so you, I, I sort of told you this was one I liked. I told you what it was about. You're like, all right, let's try it. Uh, the movie is uh, starts. What did you guys think? Did you was it? Did it live up to the hype I had? Mm -hmm. uh, Valeria, you start. What did you think? Um... The beginning was like suspenseful and like was weird. kind of violent. <coughs> kind of. Um, it it's a little violent. Yeah, I survived it, so. <laughs> Yay. Not too scary, though. Yeah, not too scary. Neither of you had nightmares. No. Okay, because we watched it last night. I want to make sure. No nightmares. No, no, no nightmares? Okay. Uh, and then this opening sort of makes fun of uh, the scenes from, like, uh, Terminator, which you guys don't know what that is. But it does have sort of a Terminator-esque opening, uh, which I've told you is he's a robot who sort of finds people. Uh, but you guys, it wasn't too scary, but it was. But you, you were confused by the plot a little bit. I had to explain yes. what was happening. Uh, basically, the plot, for those who haven't seen already, he, he, uh, there's a bad guy, and he kills somebody. He, uh, they, he, the, there's a witness who catches uh, what happens, and so Arnold, the cop, Detective Kimball um, has to uh, to protect this witness to try and get the bad guy to send him away. And that's what we know. And so the bad guy is trying to find his son and his ex-wife, and they are where? In Astoria, Oregon, which we actually really liked. I remember we all were making comments of how beautiful Astoria, Oregon was, uh, where they shot the film. We were all talking. It's a lot. It was rainy, but a really beautiful town, uh, seaside, right? Did you, you were saying particularly, you want to go visit Oregon now? Yeah, I want to visit I want to visit it. It's nice. And they shot on location there. Uh, but so I was worried the pacing of the movie would not work for kids. Uh, Sora, how old are you? Eight. And Valera, you are? Ten. Great. And so the movie is PG-13, so any parents yeah. who are debating, there is definitely the violence they spoke about, and there are some bad words, but you guys know what bad words not to use. It's not too bad, but there's a few moments that they hopefully ignored. Uh, but aside from that, it's pretty fun. It, it, I was worried, though, the pacing might be a little slow for them until they got to the kindergarten class. Uh, but you guys th th thought, like, it wasn't slow, yeah? Yeah, what, what'd you think? it wasn't slow because it was silly at the same time. You guys talked about the catchphrases, right? What was your yeah. favorite uh, catchphrase? My favorite one was, um... What was it again? <laughs> what was it again? Do you remember any catchphrases? The Tuma one. <laughs> How's that one go? Um, I, I have, have a headache. headache. It, it might be a tumor. It no, it's is not, not a tumor. tumor. Not a tumor. <laughs> Definitely not a tumor. I like your, your, your Arnold voices are on point. The, their, your introduction to Arnold, though, was through The Simpsons, because I told them he was McBain, the character, oh, yeah. which yeah. we knew. McBain, we have the char I have him back there somewhere. There he is. McBain, who you guys remember, uh, who, who they've seen on The Simpsons, uh, was they knew McBain before they knew Schwarzenegger, and they, obviously now McBain is a, a parody of Schwarzenegger. Uh, yeah. But uh, so not a tumor. Was you like, and then you don't remember the line you liked? I know the line you liked. You just don't want to say it. Uh, it was the uh, this kid. It was also the um, this kid when he makes his line, which you're not going to repeat. The, the one where the um, kid spits out the one. This time. part. How did this one? Yeah, you like that one too. Yeah. How did that one go? The kid was like the or uh, Kimball was like. Are you eating other people's lunches? And he was like, and he was like, stop it! And then the kid spit out the food all over him, and he dropped it. Stop it! Don't eat, do we eat all the lunches? Yeah, it's stop fun. Stop it! It's fun to do Arnold's Austri Austrian accent. We've all learned. That's why uh, the Simpsons did it so well too. Uh, so full of catchphrases. And then once he's there, it's it's fun, right? You guys had fun. Did you figure out who the kid was? Because they're there looking for Crisp's yeah. kid. But you guys were. I feel like you guys were wondering. There was a few moments there where you weren't sure which kid was the right kid, right? It was kind of hard because there was a lot of kids in that class. There that were like had twenty kids. Divorced parents. Yeah, and so he was specifically looking for a, when it didn't have a dad who was on the, like the run in theory. Yeah. Uh, but they gave us a few options, didn't they, Valeria? Yeah, like three. Yeah, like and so and, but I remember them. We all. You, I mean, I knew I'd seen it before, but did you? You knew right at the gate it was Dominic or no? Spoiler alert. It was. I 
Who did you think it was? Because you, you changed a bunch. First, I thought it was the kid that didn't speak. Yeah. And second, I thought it was Dominic. Right, and there's that you got you actually you guys like that scene too because there's a there is a serious scene that you got parents should be warned of of just there's one parent who is abusing their child which was actually important we talked about so we know that's never okay an adult should never touch you hit you any of that stuff uh, and then the moment when Arnold and then the principal you liked it too and the principal what was it like to punch him right and then she does the little funny punch at the end because that was a, he was a really bad guy. Uh, <laughs> There, there it is. There's that moment. Uh, but yeah, that was, you, that was a, there were some important moments too that I was glad we, they could watch and remember. Um, but then there's a lot of silly moments. Uh, a lot of Arnold was silly with the kids. What did you think of Dominic, the main kid? Did you think he was a good kid mm-hmm. actor? Yeah, he was cute and mm-hmm. funny and kind of smart for kindergarten. Yeah. Who was your favorite kid? Do you remember all? There was a lot of kids in the movie. but Dominic. Did, Dominic? I like the twins and Dominic. I like the girl who, uh, the little girl here, she... Uh, She's like, I'm a princess. And he's mm-hmm. like, no, get in the rug. Or, no, you're, you're, a, you're a deputy. I know I'm a princess. Okay. She was pretty funny. The one who has to go to the bathroom in the beginning. Yeah. She was, she was good too. Uh, and I do like uh, this kid, Miko Hughes, who does the line you liked. I, I, did I say this already? But he's in Pet Cemetery. Fun fact. Uh, not a movie you guys can watch yet, but still a fun movie uh, later. Uh, but overall, yeah, I was, I was impressed. You guys liked the ferret, right? That was a fun part yes. of it. I forgot I about the want ferret. A ferret. It's cute. Yeah, he, apparently you can't, fun fact, you can't have fer- ferrets. Apparently it's not actually something you're supposed to have as a pet now. But uh, this movie sort of makes you want one. Uh, but let's talk about the bad guy. So Chris, this guy with the ponytail, he's a pretty big bad guy. And then he has a scary mom. Uh, Sawyer, what did you think of the bad guys? Evil mama. <laughs> Who is scarier? Chris, the guy with the ponytail, or his mom? Um, Evil mama. Both of them <laughs> are really bad. Both evil them mama committed crimes but um it's evil yeah. mama they're creepy they were creepy they were working together and they were trying to steal the kid which wasn't nice and then dominic's trying to climb things he's not supposed to put up lasers and stuff he's very brave um but yeah crisp uh, the bad guy and with the ponytail he's a good bad guy i, I always remember a girly yeah, I always remember the ponytail is a good touch, and the mom is even creepier than you realize. <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, you, we were talking a lot. Of, speaking of catchphrases, I love when the his, the yeah. sister the the, the Not undercover. Not so cop. strong without your car, are you? <laughs> there it is. Uh, I like that his uh, partner. She's really fun in the movie. She gets yeah. to play sick, and then she plays the Austrian sister, and then at the end she shows up to help, and then yeah, he, she says that line, which was a pretty great line. Uh, it's, the movie's filled with great lines. I really like the music. There's some really cute, fun themes. It has a very 80s vibe. To, it's 80s vibe, even though it's 1990. Uh, this is the 30th anniversary of Kindergarten Cop, which is cool. Um, and uh, yeah, Ivan Reitman directed this. Apparently Schwarzenegger wanted Ivan Reitman direct this because Ivan Reitman was good with kids. And then uh, rumors I've re- re- read some stuff about it. He had the he regretted it day one. You, I don't know if you guys know. It's impossible to make movies with kids because they lose patience. <laughs> and so when the kids lose patience, it's harder. To, kids and animals are like the two number one rules uh, you don't do in movies, which he decided to do. Uh, but uh, I thought it paid off. The music was fun. The action's fun. The one-liners are fun. Arnold Schwarzenegger is fun. Did we miss anything overall? You guys would um, recommend this, right? Yeah. Yes, I would recommend it. But the one thing that I did not like about it is that the volume was really, really low. Yeah. Like, yeah. They, were like, <laughs> they were talking like this. Yeah, and we had the so TV up very loud. We had the yeah. TV on like volume seventy. I don't know what. Maybe the sound mixers weren't, weren't on that day. I don't know, but it was, there it were was some like scenes. Confusing because you couldn't really hear what they were saying. And to be fair, for an eight and ten year old, there were some confusing plots. You're like, what's yeah. happening? So it, you might need to explain it to them throughout your own kids if you watch. But overall, I would say it was worth the hype. Would you watch it again? Yes. Would you I recommend it? Because I know what's gonna happen. But now you're not less scared. Now you can enjoy the laughs. Yes. Yeah. And do you like Arnold Schwarzenegger? Do you want to see more Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yeah. Yeah? But you said they were, like, scary. No, he's got a couple kid movies. Uh, Jingle All the Way. It's a good Christmas movie you can watch. Where he, it's not as Christmas. good as this. Yeah, it's Jingle Jingle All the Way. It's still, like... He's trying to uh, uh, save a... Tur- he's get, trying to get a Turbo Man doll for his kid for Christmas. A lot of months away. But now we got one to watch for Christmas. Uh, I'm surprised I haven't shown it's this to you guys. It's only May 31st. We have, we have several months. We'll wait until then. But now you have something to look forward to this Christmas. Yeah. Uh, but there you go. Any final thoughts you guys want to add on, on Kindergarten Cop? 
So well, overall, we liked it. It was good. Reco- so eight and ten year olds, if they can handle it, they can handle it. They were fine. Uh, and overall, I really, I personally really had fun watching it again. I've seen this probably six, seven times now, but I haven't watched it in several years. Uh, watching it with them was definitely a fun watch. So parents out there who like the sort of old action movies and your kids don't want to show them Terminator yet. I know some parents do. I don't. Uh, they're not really ready to see. I mean, they don't want to. Uh, but if you want to sort of ease them in and get them into the genre, this was a good one to try. Uh, thank you guys for doing this with me. Should we do it again? Did you have fun doing a second review? Yeah. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. Uh, love bye it. Bye. Thank bye you guys. Bye love you guys. Am- thank you for being bye my bye movie critics. High fives. Am- Bye bye people How do we, uh, aliens oh, the world. How, be sure to subscribe to my new channel. I'm going to put a new, I'm, I'm making and another light. channel uh, that'll be up here. So subscribe and to that turn one. On the we bell. might be posting more content like that, more strictly movie content. So if you like this sort of stuff or reviews like this, I may be posting more there. So subscribe because more is coming this summer. How do we end YouTube videos, guys? Please subscribe. Ding. Click the ding. There it is. They know. They and watch so much YouTube. And leave a thumbs up. Comment and thumbs up. Uh, I love you guys. Thanks for doing this. Uh, go check out Kindergarten Cop. 30 years. I can't believe it. I'm so old. Bye. Uh, I was 10. Bye people ah. and aliens of... Bye, YouTube. Bye people and aliens of the world. Crazy. If aliens are even watching. They are. They always watch my channel.